Hi YouTubers, it's David from DP Computing. We've got a Dell XPS L501X laptop, which we're just gonna open up, change the memory, or look at how to change the memory and get to the actual hard drive itself. Now, as always, a word of warning, um, take static precautions. Following these steps may damage your actual machine. Now, the first thing we have to do is remove the battery, which is here. It's easily done by just pushing this switch to the side, and as you heard, it makes a click and then pops up, and we can just remove it and put it to one side. Now, we've got the three screws there, just normal Phillips head. They'll get us into the battery compartment, oh, not battery compartment, the memory. Um, just remove those three screws. The screws themselves won't totally come out. And then, as you can see here, we've got the memory. So there's two, currently two dims in. Um, to get to remove them, just pull the silver tabs outwards and the memory pops up, which you can then slide out. And there's a bit of dog hair or cat hair in there. And I'll just push it back in and then push it down to um, install. Here we've got the Wi-Fi module, and here, which this one doesn't have, is a WW or WAN, which is your 3G, 4G sort of internet connection, and there's the antennas for that, which this one doesn't have. You must be also able to put a, like a TV adapter or something in there. Now, as you can see from here, um, we can't get into or we can't see the actual hard drive itself. To get to the hard drive, we have to flip it over. Oh, before we do that, there's the optical drive which is here and that's one little screw just there. Undo that screw. And the screw probably falls out then. Then we can pull out the optical drive. You can then put in another optical drive and then put back the screw just in here. Now to get to the actual hard drive itself, we have to turn it over and remove the keyboard. Now before we do that, you may or may not be able to see this, but under where the battery is here, there's actually three sort of positions which are labeled with a K. So there's one there, one there, so there are two clips, and then we've got a screw here, which is again labeled with a K. So undo that one screw, clip those two clips and that will release the keyboard. Now if we turn it the other way, put it up. Now what we have to do is pull up this little panel here. But once it's all um, unclipped, just be careful because there's two other actual connections. So just I've just used a little flathead screwdriver and you just go along and unclip it. It's been unclipped before so this one's a bit easier yours will be a much tighter. So just go under there and work your way around until it unclips. But don't, please don't force it. If you, if you have to force it, just double check that those clips under the battery, which I showed you before, and that one screw has been actually removed. So once they're done, we can remove the actual keyboard, or the sort of mount around the keyboard, I should say. And here we've got two cables for the trackpad. Um, so just, um, you can remove those cables to get to the hard drive which is here. Um, what I generally do is just leave them in place so I don't do any damage. The hard drive itself has got four screws held in, um, screwed in, one, two, three, four. I've unscrewed them already, so once they're unscrewed you can just pull it to the side and up. And there we've got the hard drive which is in a little caddy. We've got four more screws. One, two, three, four to remove, and you can then pull out the hard drive, put in another one, or do whatever you want with it. Um, also under here, we've got just here, you may not be able to see it too well, that's a bit better. Just here you've got the CMOS battery, which you can replace as well. Um, there we are, there's a quick sort of teardown to get into the hard drive, um, memory and optical drive of a Dell XPS laptop. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.